In part two of this interview, we get to see two of the award-winning Rotolite LED systems. Lights, camera, action, production. My name's Rod Gammons. I'm the CEO and inventor of uh, Rotolite Lighting Systems. The main reason is, is because the way the ring light works is that it makes each of the elements in the light, all the LEDs, work as individual light sources and they counter, counter cross shadow uh, the other light source. You end up then with a very soft, very naturally diffused light and the reflection of the light in the eye looks very, very natural. It looks like a, a, a reflection of the sun. So if you see uh, somebody coming close up uh, with a big so square softbox, you see a horrible square reflection which looks very unnatural in the eye. But with the LED system, um, you actually end up with something that looks like um, a little point light. It gives a nice natural focus to the eye shot. Also the light that comes out of a ring light is very soft and, and flat, so it's very... Um, uh, very appealing. It's very, you know, complementary to um, to skin, particularly to an old wrinkly chap like me. It makes uh, makes my skin look a bit less wrinkly in the in the in the imagery. Uh, it's very exciting. We're planning with the Innova to launch two new versions of the Innova at NAB. Um, the Innova is a bicolor system and can electronically adjust its color. Uh, but we're going to uh, uh, be launching the Innova Solo versions, which will be a Solo 5600 and a Solo 3200. Those will be fixed colour uh, for installs where they don't need to be able to change the colour temperature of the light so much, but they want more power output. So that will give you about enough 25% power at the desired colour. Well, we're really excited by that because you know the, the next generation are the future of our industry, and it's it's really nice that they get to work with a system that that is as solid as the the Rotolite system. It gives you a beautiful quality of light, very easy to use, very quick to use, and it's nice because uh, you know the the students of today will learn that these will be the systems that they use for tomorrow. So it's, it is the future. You can see on this camera here, we've got the RL48 ring light. These are used primarily as an on-camera light or for location shooting, interview, headshots, run and gun situations where you don't have much time to set up lighting, but you want a really high quality light that's going to provide the right kind of uh, light for a location shoot. And the nice thing with these is that uh, you can use a, a colour effect filter for a sort of a nice side fill, have a, a side fill or a quarter fill or bounce it off the hair. And these uh, can be mounted very easily onto um, either a microphone or directly onto the camera with a little stand adapter that we have that goes through the middle. Um, these lights give you a 100 watt uh, equivalent output. They're a 48 LED ring system. They also last for four hours on one set of three AA batteries, so they're uniquely portable. And because of their size and the way they work, they can be tucked away in all sorts of sneaky little places. So if you want to just fill or, or backlight something or get it behind somebody's head, you know, produce a halo outline, they're perfect for that. For a larger light, the, uh, the Innova, is 506 LEDs, producing 1,000 watts of uh, output. This is electronically colour adjustable, whereas the, the, the small ring light uses um, uh, filters to actually adjust its colour. So they both have a similar range. Uh, this, this goes from 3150 Kelvin up to 6300. This goes from 3200 Kelvin up to 6300. Um, this is electronically colour adjustable. This is adjustable by filters. When you dim this using filters, you dim this electronically. So now we're looking at the back of the uh, of the Innova light. We have a single control, and that allows us to select brightness. And in the brightness, we can adjust it in ones, or press and hold and go quickly in tens. So it allows us to very quickly set the level of the light that we want. Uh, and then the same thing with color temperature. In color temperature, I can dial that in in tens of Kelvin for very accurate color matching, or I can press and hold, and in less than one turn, I can go all the way from the tungsten end of the color range right up to the blue daylight end of the color line. And I can get close to where I want to be and then just adjust it very accurately to get to the color setting I want. Uh, these lights uh, can be controlled locally like this or via DMX from a lighting console. But we've also designed a unique Wi-Fi system for these. They create their own network and that allows us to network up to 256 of them and control them wirelessly from uh, an iPhone or iPad application 
uh, that gives us the effectively a full mixing console uh, on on your your iPhone, where you can adjust your your fader levels, uh, store all your scenes, create a playlist of scenes, which uh, automatically allow you to uh, play from one scene to another with a transition and crossfade. Um, you've got groups on here. You can group brightness and color channels. We also even have a special colorimeter app which allows you to sample and collect your location lighting and then copy that location lighting and accurately reproduce it back at the studio. So it's a great way if you're working on a on set on location on a movie like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean with Johnny Depp. Uh, you could sample the location lighting back at Pinewood, reproduce it with Kira Knightley and green screen her into the same scene with Johnny, accurately matching the lighting from your from your set. Many thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for visiting. To find out more about the DSLR Video Studio Handbook and to keep up to date, you can follow us on Twitter at DSLR Video Studio, watch us on YouTube at DSLR Video Studio, or find us on Facebook at DSLR Video Studio. Thanks very much for your time.